slack, slacking, slacker, however you want to call it, but the topic here is change slack. And if you don't have any idea like me before, well, you should stick to this video and learn something new. So chain slack is when you loosen or reduce the amount of tension applied on the chain, causing it to move up and down. In short, chain slack. Now the question is, why is it important? It's because chain without slack means tight chain causing a high friction that may damage the chain components, including the sprockets, or worse, it may snap. And if the chain has too much slack, it can damage the frame, swing arm, and other parts. But if you properly adjust it to the correct chain slack, as your manual says, the result is smooth operation. And that's what I'm going to do on my XSR900, which I will show you right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do is measure my chain slack if it needs to be adjusted. And that is more than an inch. In that case, as you can see, it needs to be adjusted. So what I'm going to do is loosen this axle nut using a 1 in 116 socket. Again just loosen the axle nut, no need to remove it. So this is where the alignment marks is. Same on the other side. Here. That's the mark. So this is the drive chain slack adjuster bolt. And this is the lock nut. And now it's time to loosen the lock nut on each side of the swing arm. And now the drive chain is slack adjusting bolt is loose and I'm gonna do the same on the other side of the swing arm. And now I am going to turn this slack adjusting bolt three times and that will cause the drive chain puller to move minimizing the slack of the chain. And make sure to do the same on the other side of the swing arm. Adjust it. And then after that, check the chain if it's on the proper slack. And if it's correct, make sure to check also the alignment marks on both sides of the swing arm. And also make sure to check the chain alignment. That's good. So once everything is aligned and the slack or chain slack measurement is correct. It's time to tighten this lock nut. Actually both sides. And this specific torque is 16 newton meter or 12 pound feet of torque. But in this situation I'm just gonna use my hand torque mechanism. <laughs> and let's do the same here. Just trust your instinct. Wow! Then after this, it's time to tighten up the... Yes, it's time to tighten up this axle nut. And the torque is 150 newton meter or 108 feet pound.
that's it. <clears throat> now I need to double check the chain slack just to make sure. And I think that is great. And also if you would like to know what product I use to clean my chain, I will put the link in my description down below, also the tools that I use. And if you like this video, uh, please share it and also leave a comment if you have any questions or anything that you would like to say. And hit that like and don't forget to subscribe. Soon, I'll be right back. Again, thank you for watching and stay safe always. Yeah.